Hello church, we're just going to come together and take a little bit of time out and break bread together. Now if you go to our YouTube channel and look at the playlist, you will see that I have put a video of a virtual choir up. Now it was done about a year ago, but it's really inspired me this time because these people are in different countries, they are all in different places, and yet they've produced something so beautiful because they're in unity. Now, us as a church, we are all scattered at the moment. We are all in different places, but we are still in unity. We still come together as one body as we remember what Jesus has done for us. So Judah is going to read Isaiah 53, starting at verse 2 for us. He grew up like a small plant before the Lord, like a root grown in dry land. He had no special beauty or form to make us notice him. There was nothing in his appearance to make us desire him. He was hated and rejected by people. He had much pain and suffering. People would not even look at him. He was hated and he, and we didn't even notice him. But but he took our suffering on him and felt our pain for us. We saw his suffering and thought God was punishing him. But he was wounded for the wrong we did. He was crushed for the evil we did. The punishment which made us well was given to him. And we are healed because of his wounds. Each of us ha has gone his own way, but the Lord has put on him the punishment for all the evil we have done. He was be beaten down and punished, but he didn't say a word. He was like a lamb being led to be killed. He was quiet as a sheep is quiet while its wood is being cut. He never opened his mouth. Men took him away roughly and unfairly. He died without children to continue his family. He was put to death and was punished for the sins of, of my people. He was buried with, with wicked men and he died with the rich. He had done nothing wrong and he never lied. So there we're reminded of what Jesus has done for us, that he went to the cross and took the punishment for you and me. So hopefully you have your bread and you have some juice available. The bread reminding us of his body, the wine reminding us of his blood, the real sacrifice that Jesus did for us. So what's going to happen now is that Charles is going to play a song. And as he's playing the song, I want you to take time out just to take the bread, take the wine and remember what Jesus has done for us. He's made it possible for us to have that relationship with God. And if you want to make your prayers public, you can put them on our WhatsApp group. You can put them out on Facebook um, any way you like or just be saying them in your house. But let's be people that are praising God for him at this time as we remember what he has done. Here's Charles. <laughs> Just me. 
Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the sacrifice you made for us. I thank you that you sent your son. Father God, I thank you for your love for us. And I just pray, Lord, that you'll just help us to be in a place of praise of your name, that we just come to you with thankful hearts, remembering what you've done for us. Father God, we love you. Amen. Amen.